Okay, so today we are taking a look at Indie Jumbo Stilts. Fully adjustable Indie Jumbo Stilts. These are hold-on stilts. It costs around $40. These stilts have a nice build quality. They are made out of high quality aluminum. They have foam on the edges. The foot pedestal is made out of metal as well. And the recommended age for this piece of equipment is seven to death, seven and up. When I used hold on stilts in after school programs, I used a different brand called Crazy Legs or Skywalker. Those stilts are sold by physical education websites and they are much more expensive. We're talking $150 for a pair. So let's talk a little bit about some of the features. There are adjustable heights. If you want your, your handles a little bit lower, you can, do, you can modify them. Also, if you are transporting them, you can make them smaller. One thing that I wish that these stilts had was a, just a little bit more height. Um, these max out at about 10 inches. Okay, so how do we use these stilts? So first things first, you're going to need a wall and a flat surface. You're gonna put your stilts on the wall and then stand between them. It can be a little bit difficult for kids to wrap their tiny little brains around how to hold these stilts. There is a very simple memory technique that you can use. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is put your hands out like you are a zombie. Then you are going to put your hands to your sides like you're an airplane. And then finally, you're going to make chicken wings. So when you make the chicken wings, you're going to wrap your hands around the stilts so that they go underneath your armpits. So now that we're holding onto the stilts, we have to step onto the pedestals. So with one foot at a time, step onto the pedestals. When we're learning this, we always wanna be using the wall to just lean on and not have to worry about balancing quite yet. So now that you're on the wall, you're going to start by shifting your weights from one foot to the other. And while doing so, you're going to be lifting up with your hands as your feet are lifting up off the ground. It's very important to do this because keeping that pressure helps you stay on the stilts and not have them kind of slip off. So practice that for a bit. Make sure you're nice and comfortable shifting your weight from side to side. When you do start to get comfortable, that's when you can start to walk your way back towards the wall. Doing that is going to orient your body so that you're not putting so much weight on the wall and you can start to sort of lean forward. And finally, when when you're ready to start pushing off the wall, all you have to do is just use your butt to give it a nice little scooch, and then you can take your first steps. So when taking your first steps, there are a couple things that you're gonna wanna be mindful of. First being where your eyes are. Your eyes should always be looking where you're going, uh, not down at your feet. Your chest should be up. So keep your chest up and your eyes looking forward. And if you do feel like you're about to fall, all you have to do is hop down. This is why hold on stilts are such a great learning tool is that you can just hop off if you feel like you're going to make a mistake. With peg stilts or contractor stilts, you're kind of locked in there. And if you do fall, you you are in for a bruising. Once you get the feel of walking, then you can start to make obstacles. I actually made an obstacle course with my backpack and my drone and drone remotes. Don't, don't be an idiot like me and use thousands of dollars worth of camera equipment to make obstacle, an obstacle course. Use, use cones foam blocks um, or buckets even. Don't use don't use camera equipment because if you do step on that stuff, it's gonna cost you $600. <laughs> Hold on stilts are great equipment to have in your toolkit if you are doing after school programs, in school residencies, um, or just teaching kids in general. The last thing I should point out, oh, let me just get it off. <sighs> oh. Okay, so the last thing I wanna point out is that these rubber pieces eventually over time will degrade. I mean, I just, I use these today. These were a brand new pair of stilts and they're already showing some signs of wear and tear. The good news is that you can replace these by going to Home Depot or Lowe's or your local hardware store and picking up some furniture uh, protectors for like chair legs. Find a size that fits your stilts pop them on and you're back to business. So yeah, that is my review and tutorial of Indie Jumbo Stilts. 
Whether you are a circus educator or a parent, these are a great piece of equipment to use. They take up virtually no room in your garage. You can fit six pairs of these in your car with just a bungee cord. It's pretty fantastic. Yeah, check them out. I will include a link in the description on where to buy these if you are interested. Go out there and walk tall, friends. Bye. I feel like Gandalf holding this thing. You shall like this video. That's, that's a dumb joke. Thank you.